Hey everyone, Michael here with Hello Cupcake, it's me, and today is the Wednesday check-in. It is January, January, February 7th, 2024. If you haven't done so already, please hit like and subscribe, and then go check out all the social medias down below, and go check out the book that I have just written, and um, still fine-tuning it, but it should be uh, published by this November. You can check that out at cdsthebook.com. So, I hope you all are doing well. Um, today is a beautiful sunny day here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, actually kind of surprising because we've had like a lot of cold weather as we're still kind of in our um, winter months. But, you know what? I'll take vitamin D whenever I can get it. So, uh, man, last night at the um, bar and doing the uh, TV trivia tournaments that we do, we kicked all the butt. So that was awesome. Sorry, moving around so much here, trying to find a good, stable way to hold the phone because, um, you know, well, I'm in my car. Um, but yeah, we kicked butt last night on the tournament and completely buried the bar that we were going against. So that made me feel really good. And, um, I know that even though it's a team effort or whatever, and that it's just for fun, it's still just that it's for fun. And it makes me feel good when I see my name on the leaderboard as like being 37th and an in the nation or whatever like that. It's like, you know, that's kind of validating all the times growing up that my teachers said that I would never amount to anything or whatever else, you know, just the bullshit that people say to you. And then you're like, yeah, you know, in, in this category of trivia, I was number 12 or I was number 37. Like that just feels good. <laughs> so anyways, um, Monday, I went to a class on identifying um, risk factors in youth, and it was a two-hour class and really got me excited for some of the programs that the YMCA offers as well as helped me to network with some of the other local providers and um, just kind of gave me a an idea on what to do for if I decide to start doing group work and, um, also kind of, um, reignited my passion for wanting to work with the youth. And, um, by definition, youth here in, um, Washington state anyways, is zero to 25 years. And then um, adult is considered anything 25 years and over. And then I think senior citizen starts at 55 or 65 and then above. So um, got a lot of really good resources and um, just I got to talk to people about like, you know, one of my biggest issues as a mandated reporter is is trying to figure out, is this report worthy? Like, just because it goes against what I would personally do in a situation, does that mean that my bias trumps what is actually supposed to be happening and so on and so forth, you know? And so I got to, like, kind of listen to other people when we got to that topic. And... um Just like, you know, telling them that's my biggest problem is when do I say something? And uh, one of the people was saying that they had a child over at their house that um, got pretty, like pretty injured and that the child didn't want the parents notified or whatever. And that... Um, she ended up taking the child to the hospital and then notifying the parents and that the parents were like really pissed off and angry and all that other stuff because, you know, 
how dare you take my kid to the doctor, blah, 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 that wasn't your place, yada, yada. And um, it was like, oh, okay, you know, so that's one thing. Um, had another person talking about how they had a youth at their place and the youth was talking about suicide and had an active plan to unalive themselves. And it was like, okay, this is above and beyond my pay grade. Let me take this person to get the help that they need. And so, um, it's a lot different, <laughs> excuse me, the, the problem that I'm having is that some of the things that I see that I believe are reportable are within my personal life and I don't want to cause problems for the people in my personal life, but at the same time, you know, I, I see these issues and it's like, these need to be addressed. Um, so I, I don't know. I just kind of keep a, I hate people like that. Anyways, I just try to keep an eye on the situation and see if things get better or worse or how it plays out. But, um, I have made I have told the family before, you know, this is a reportable offense. So you have like three weeks to make sure that this is taken care of before a report's going to be made. And I just left it at that. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But anyways, yeah. So um feeling pretty decent about myself right now and... I didn't go to the Y this morning because, well, I woke up and just didn't have the energy to get up and go. Um, the only reason I'm in town right now is because I need to uh, run by the store. And um, since I was, I usually meet up with my sister for her lunch. And I thought, well, you know what, since I'm here, might as well just stop, get lunch with my sister take my niece home for lunch and then go to the store and do all that other stuff. So just trying to kill like 12 birds with one stone. But anyways, uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, I'm going to be uploading a sample cover of the book to the community page. So I would love to get your, um, input on it. If any of you are graphic designers or whatever, um, let me know how you like it. If there's any changes that should be made, so on and so forth. And yeah, and, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. So hopefully you're doing well and I will talk to you all Saturday. Bye guys.